Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, Bald Explorer, out on another, um, and I'm joined with Matthew Holdsworth. Hello, Matthew. Hi, Richard. We have not done a video together for a long time because nope. certain events... Was there a war on? Oh, no, well, something else. Something else. Can't think what it was now. Yes. Haven't seen you since February. No, I've, yeah. been, uh, I've, I've been unwell. Oh, is that it's, what it is? Yeah. It's all that uh, black buboes or whatever they call them in the plague. Yeah. But I'm better now. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Where are we today, Matthew? We're in Buckland in Surrey. Uh, which is uh, sort of halfway between Reigate and Dorking. I love the name Buckland mm. because you think, is there bucks? Is it the land of bucks? Well, I've never seen any. No. <laughs> so <laughs> it's here. an interesting place because d didn't I read before I came or did you tell me there are three village greens? There were three village greens, yes. One of, them's, one of them has been ploughed over and is now used as farming. Right, and that's always nice. <laughs> only she hasn't been built on. Uh, yeah, and, that's very true. I'm very pleased to hear that. Uh, and there's one down by the old rectory, which is uh, a little way down that way. Right. And then we're on the third green here, which is the one that everyone sees. Because it's off the A25. Yes. And the A25, for those that people who are not familiar with Surrey and this stretch, you've got Dorking, which is famous for its giant cock. Yep. I'll let you wonder about that. Um, and then Rygate that way. And yes. how far apart are they? About eight miles. About eight miles. Yeah. And you go past this place, this is a picturesque church, there's a village pond, yep. and there's some rather stunning Surrey houses. Yes, yes, some lovely Surrey vernacular houses, all different ages. So was, around the green. we thought we would just have a look at those in this video. There's an interesting story about the barn that's behind us, and then we'll have a quick gander at the church. So where should we start, Matthew? Uh, should we go that way? Yes. Towards the old school? So, this is the old school. Yes. And um, it's so typically uh, Victorian, isn't it? Yeah, it's a proper Victorian school. I think it was probably built just after the um, 1870, they had the Education Act, where everyone had to go to school. And it's really tiny. And the thing is, you said, um, as we were walking across, that it stopped being a school in 19... 1981 or two, I think, so... And now, when were you born? I was born in 81. So, yeah. <laughs> around about the time you were born, they abandoned that. Now, to yes. me, the, the 80s doesn't seem that long ago. So, it's quite incredible to think that schools were like that, because I had left school mm. from a comprehensive... I forget how many kids were in there, about eight to 900 kids in a, a boys' comprehensive in Horsham. And so a little quaint little school like that is just so yeah. idyllic. And it probably wouldn't have had, what, more than 40 kids, probably 40, 50 children? I Do reckon? you think they would have, like, during the playtime, if they had playtime, let them run out here yeah, on, I reckon so. on the village green? I reckon so, but I don't know that. No. Yeah, probably. No. Unless they, we can't see behind. But beautiful. And it's got that um, cupula, copula? Cupula? What? Cupula. <laughs> we don't know how to <laughs> the, say it. <laughs> the, uh, on the, on the, where the bell is. To, to ring the chimes to say, come on, kids, come yeah. back in. A lovely copper one. Yeah. Reminded me of a witch's hat. So there's other buildings here, though. If we have yeah. a little scant round, there's one just over here, a massive building, mm. timber frame, very beautiful, with its original chimneys and original wood. How, what did they do to make the money? Well, I'd, I'd love to know, because this one is a big house. It's the one with a big central chimney that yeah. you would have had in that sort of late medieval sort of Elizabethan time. But it is a big place, and I wondered if it had been extended, but I don't think it has, particularly. No, no it, it just, I mean, it's, it's just very huge, and it's mm. right on here. Um, behind us, it's got 1879, and the initials JRC. That's, that, to me, is very Victorian. Yes. Of course, it's 1878, but um, all that tile hanging, that's quite a, a thing for Surrey, isn't that, it? That is a real Surrey vernacular-type building. You've got the, the steep roofs, you've got, the, um, you've got the, all the tile hanging. It's very um, that early arts and crafts that you get. Right. Which is why you've got that sort of decorated bit with the, with the, date, and with the, the date and the name yeah. and things like that. Very beautiful. Mm. If we swing our view across here, there's another huge uh, property here in white, um, rendered in white with, again, different tiles. Very different. Yes, I'm, I'm trying to guess the age of it. It's, it's probably sort of 17th, 18th century at the front. At the back, which you might be able to see, there are some gables which look very Victorian. And I me, think, so I think, I think timber framed, because of the size of those windows, they are small, mean little windows, and I don't think they were meant to be mean. Mm. I just think the way you did them in those old timber days, they were quite small. And glass was very expensive. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, a but heavy old roof, 
but a vast roof with quite a steep pitch to get rid of the snow and rain? I think so, yeah. I think so. And also because of the type of tiles. The clay tiles work at a degree of more than about 45 degrees. There we are. He's a planner, so he knows <laughs> these things. Let's wander over to the barn because that's got a fascinating story. Yes, yes, it has. So the barn, here it is. And what a splendid looking barn. It is, isn't it? It does look a bit like a church though. Uh, yes, yes it does, but it's not a church or uh, I don't think it ever has been used as one. No, it's got that tower. Yes. It's, it's known as the tower. It's a tower barn, yeah. Right. And uh, what it was, it's a 18th century barn, 17th, 18th century barn. And it was used to have water tanks in the tower because there was a well that pumps the water up from there to supply the village. Oh, I see, so... Um, you're using the spring water from the well, yes. pump it up into a tank using gravity then to get your water as and when required. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And because we're on the green sand here, yes. Um, so you do have those springs and things which aren't very um, deep below the surface. So, so interesting that that's a barn, mm. which presumably was used as a barn as well. I think so, yeah. Because it's so big. And also your um, water supply. Yes. And it's right opposite the church, so you do go past going, are there two churches here? Yeah. Because it does look church. No, I think, I think that it's, it's remarkable. And yet, if you go to uh, Brockhurst, is Brockham. it? Brockham. Brockham. Yes. I always get those wrong. <laughs> um, it's, that's got its own little well, hasn't it? And a little wellhead. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yes. Yeah. But this one's in the barn. What a clever idea. I think it's a very good idea. And a good way of storing water, too. And did you say how old the barn was? Uh, 17th, 18th century. Right. Yeah. So... It's not a church, but there is a church. Oh, there certainly is. St Should Mary's. We go and have a look at the church. St Mary's, which is just the other side of the pond. Yeah. So this is St Mary's, um, it's a lovely church. Is it uh, Vict Victorian now? I mean, it looks quite Victorian, but it does date from the 14th century. Oh, does it? Yes, so they think about 1380 it's been dated to. But that's primarily the walls and the tower. Right. And then it got heavily restored in the Victorian period. And I think the chancel is Victorian. Now, I remember we came in here we were going to do a thing about the church. Yes. We came here, it was such a murky day. We actually did another video all about planning. Yes, that's, that's what, right. Yeah. Yes, yes, we did. So um, I'll put the link on for mm. those people who are just curious, but we will go in. But before that, let's just have a closer look at the walls because I'm fascinated by the brickwork. Yep, let's go. Because I, I didn't mean brick did I? I meant stone you did mean stone yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and the thing about it is it's you can see it instantly it's iron stone yes which is um, locally mined from around here. oh is it yes ah oh okay when you say locally mined mm. it's interesting because we're next to a grave by the uh, Henry Samuel Collier yes Th but they're but coal not, mines yeah the coal mines I think yeah. not uh, <laughs> not Rygate stone no so um, th and that's very popular uh, or prevalent in Surrey absolutely yes yeah. especially around this sort of part around Rygate area yeah because yeah. it's, it's it's in the uh, it's in the land and it's all geology yeah. so um, what else can you tell me about the church well um, what you, I was noticing here actually with the stones yes you've got the older stones at the bottom here which do look like it's more ancient foundations and then yeah, they're, they're built on top bigger bigger lumps of stone and then more refined yes and as you mentioned the, the pointing looks quite bright it does i think they've probably done some work on uh, on repairing the pointing fairly recently but the whole place is all very well manicured like the whole vin village yes yeah, there's a so. lot of uh, love and, uh, and attention given to it it does appear there's quite a good community yeah. Buckland. Well, this is um, staggeringly beautiful, isn't it? It is. You know, for a Victorian church, because sometimes Victorian churches, they sort of leave you a bit cold. They, they do, they do. I mean, it's nice to be in a church yes. as well, let's be honest. Well, that's true, and yeah. it was amazing that it was open. Mm. But things that you notice immediately when you ca ca come in, yeah. I, I mean, I noticed the staircase. That staircase is amazing. It's a spiral staircase up to the bell chamber. 
There is one, I forget where it is, it's in Harting, I think. There's a, a similar sort of very narrow staircase, beautiful, beautifully made. But that frame at the end reminds me of uh, the church at Newdigate. Yes, yeah, I mean, it's medieval, that, right. that, uh, that frame there. So it was part of the church that was saved when they restored the building. Right. Um, purely because it was so stout and um, solid that they couldn't easily be removed. So it's still holding up the tower. Um, and that part of the building is largely um, 14th century. And that, right, so that oak that it's made of, mm. those trees must be what, three, four hundred years old. Absolutely. So, so, so they're probably just after the Saxon period. Yeah. The tree was just growing. And then it was felled to make in the medieval period, as you say, that amazing frame. And it's still here today. Yeah. So they've been there for 600 years, but probably grew for 300 years before that. Yeah. Gosh. That is amazing. There's a fragment of grass, grass, glass, you <laughs> yes. were telling me. Yes, just over here, just up here. Um, oh, and wow. it's a 15th century medieval fragment, I think they found during the restoration. It's a Virgin Mary and baby Jesus. And they've set it in another piece of glass so that yes. obviously we can see it. But yes, so they've kept that one plain. Most of the other windows are all, um, you know, fully decorated. Yeah. But they've kept that one so you can see the medieval How bit. beautiful. Um, I mean, this, you know, you could do a video just on the whole church itself, like you could. But the other thing that was worth noting, which is a little bit more recent, if we can call Victorians recent, yep. um, and that is over there. It's orna ornamental, isn't it? I do like it. The Victorians were pretty good at that ornamental thing. They were. People looking at that may not know what it is. I and mean, we've got the font in front of us. Yes. Now, there's two stories here, isn't there? There is, yes. So the font dates from at least 1818, when it was found in storage. Right. So it's How probably, unusual. I know. So it's probably a lot older than that. Um, but the, I don't know what you call it, really, the, the, the font, font cover? Cover, yes, or the hat. Mm. I mean, I know it's got a hook on the top, and often they were on a chain yes. so that you could be lifted up because they're quite heavy. Mm, and some of them are, are much even bigger than this. Yeah, they're very impressive things. Yes, but th that dates from the Victorian restoration of the church in 1860. And I love the woodwork on it, even though it's Victorian. And as yeah. we said before, Victorians often get slated for doing bad things to churches. But sometimes I think, mm. you know, some of their work... Their is wood great. carving stuff is, is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, and the detail on that. With, with some bucks, I think. In Buckland? In Buckland, yes. Well, there you go. That's our visit to Buckland. Yep. Um, very nice. Uh, thank you very much, Matthew, for taking me no around. No problem. It's been good to see you again. Of course. No visit to Buckland would be complete without a mention of the wonderful miniature I nearly said railway then, no. but windmill, yep. which was an old sawmill. Sawmill. Yeah, the only one in the country that's left. Yes. yes. So this video is incomplete because it's over that way and we're yep. not going to show you. Actually, we did do it in another video. We did it on the last video, I think, that we did back in February. Yeah, yeah. so um, I'll bung a link to that so you can look at that. We can't really get to it and get into it other than just poking a the camera there. To be honest with you, we've been on our feet all day. So. Yep. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Matthew for coming along. No problem at all. Uh, who has his own YouTube channel doing your own little walks. I do, yes. Yeah, yeah so absolutely. We'll put a link to that, so make sure you uh, subscribe, which would be great. In the meantime, don't forget to follow, like, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> you can subscribe or subscribe. <laughs> it's a choice is yours. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, become a patron, send bags of money, and I'll make more videos. Until next time, thank you so much. No problem at all. See I, you soon. I must go and subscribe to yours. Yes, let's subscribe. I wonder where it is. <laughs>